welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Alex. Subscribe if you're new. I woke up feeling so, well, I actually woke up really tired this morning, but lately, just in general, I've been feeling really refreshed and I was just excited to vlog today. There's so many things I feel like I need to update you on. One of them being what I'm wearing. We will talk about that in a minute. I told you guys how I am organizing this year, minimizing and just like getting life together, getting systems in place. And we've been doing that. One of the things we did the other day was take the baby gate down. We actually took the blinds down in the living room. I'll show you all of these things. We got rid of a ton, not got rid of a ton of baby stuff. But we packed it all up put it in bins, and, which you saw in the last vlog. If you watched the last vlog, you saw all of that. But we're just going through and organizing and it feels so freaking good. That's been going on. I'm also in my cooking era and putting together something very exciting, which let me just, I'm gonna tell you all the things here. It can be really annoying when people just like hint and then don't say anything. I understand if you're like working with a brand or something and you can't like legally like say things, but this is all my stuff I'm doing. So I'm just gonna tell you and then everyone can keep me accountable for how long it takes me to accomplish. So we're gonna chat all the things. Also been drinking coconut water because I feel like I'm getting a headache and we can't do that. We cannot do migraines today, we cannot. Part of that is probably because I sobbed my eyes out this morning. When I tell you I sobbed, Clark was like, what is wrong with you? crying so hard. This song called Ordinary Days, I just posted it on my Instagram and I like put the music, I put the song like on the story so you can hear it. It is the saddest song in the world. Like it's a beautiful song, but it just makes me think of like, I can't start, I cannot start, my head will start hurting. Okay, hoo hoo hoo. It just talks about living in these ordinary days and how you're gonna miss them and how like these are just, like these ordinary days are just like these beautiful days and, it just makes me think about like the season of life that I'm in and being a mom and Sage is little and like, I know I'm gonna look back and be like, those were the good old days. Like I'm home with her. She's just so fun. I'm like so grateful. Okay, I'm gonna start crying. So I literally cannot. <laughs> oh, why do I cry in every vlog? <laughs> Let me go ahead and just show you the house really fast and then we'll get back to this, okay? All right, here is the space without the gate. Doesn't it look so much better? The gate definitely served its purpose. We actually, well, kind of, because we never locked her in there. Like we never shut the door because, I don't know, part of me just wanted to teach her like, okay, here's your space of stuff, like with your toys and everything, but you can come in and out as you please. Like, so I didn't traumatize her or anything like that. I probably should have shut it. If I were going to do that, if I were gonna shut the door, I should have started it when she was like super little so that that was like something she was used to. Because any other time we tried to shut the door and like put her in there to like contain her for a second, she freaked out and that just, I don't know, I didn't want to like traumatize her. So it just stayed open, but it was nice to have all of her toys like in that little area. But again, we don't have a lot of space. She's outgrown it. It's It was time. So yeah, it's nice and open. And in last vlog, I went through and I was organizing everything for toy rotation. And I put everything in these baskets right here. And then the toy like overflow is in the laundry room. I created just like a shelf in there to like put other stuff. So the stuff that's in there was supposed to be stuff that she's not just like grabbing all the time because that would defeat the point of toy rotation to make things new and everything. So now what I'm going to do is probably take the baskets out which I think they look cute, but that's not the point. So I think I'm gonna take the baskets out and then just set in the toys just right inside of the white cubby that she's gonna play with for that week. Haven't done that yet. Why am I out of breath and why am I sweating? Anyway, haven't got to that point yet because we just did all this. So I'll figure that out, but we're we're heading in the right direction. And I can't remember, did I show you guys the the blinds being taken down? I don't think that I did. I don't think I did. All right, so here is the living room without any of the blinds up, which just feels so good. We just had them pushed up anyway, so they were like right there. And you could see the orange tag on the bottom. There were cords everywhere, which is just not safe for the baby. So that was kind of a whole thing, but they're gone now. We plan on putting different blinds or different shades up at some point, but those are expensive. So that's not something we're gonna be doing right now. This year we probably will, but we're not in like a hurry because I like the way that it looks like this and our backyard is completely private. So I'm not worried about like the neighbors staring in or anything. So we're not really like in a rush for that, but eventually we'll do that. And then I don't know if you remember me talking about this, but we 
<laughs> we, I want to get the beams painted and the mantle painted right there to be the color of our tables. That way it just is more, I don't know, a warmer kind of feeling and everything matches. And then that light, I wanna get the same one that's in the dining room just so that it flows well. So yeah, that's kind of house update stuff. I don't think there's anything else to show you. I think that's everything, but everything just feels minimal and clean and just light. And that is what I need for my mental health. Like that makes me feel so much better. I've been in such a better mood and just, I don't know, that stuff affects me so much. So I don't know what that says about me, but that's, it's the truth. Wait, never mind. There is something else. Duh. Okay. So let's walk through this again. So we had the end table right there. It is now moved to the corner. We got rid of the big light. It just kind of took up a lot of space and I don't know, just kind of fell over it. So we put the end table with the lamp over there tucked in the corner, moved the couch out a little bit and it just feels more cozy. And like, you would think that with the chase part right there, that would be like where you would want to sit. Cause you can like put your legs out and just rest your feet up and all that. But we kind of avoided it. It just felt like it was too up close to the wall and like, I don't know, not far from the TV, but it just didn't feel as inviting. But now we both want to lay on that spot right there. So it's great. So my question is, do I get a second table so that there are two or do I just leave the one over there? and then leave this space more open. This was kind of tucked behind, the plant was kind of tucked behind that table. So Sage hasn't really like been getting into it or anything. Since it's been gone, she hasn't paid it any attention. And I feel like that kind of stuff goes like, it just depends on the day, but she hasn't gotten into any of my plants in a very long time. I think she's just like learning. That's just a boundary she's not allowed to cross. But then I'm sure there's gonna be a day where she'll just pick up the dirt and throw it. So. So yeah, what do we think? Do we get two tables or do we just keep the one in the corner? And I'll show you. And I love all my plants right here, which I've been neglecting these plants so bad. I feel so bad. There's the table. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I just don't know what to do. I'm kind of leaning towards only having one. Okay, that's way too bright. I can't sit this way. Also, I think I've been in a better mood and just feeling better in general because the sunshine is out. Doesn't it just feel different in here? Oh my gosh. It has been so rainy and cloudy here in Georgia for honestly months and it's been so depressing. And I think this is why I feel good right now. Okay, so I guess I have two fun little announcements in this video today. And I don't know, I kind of went back and forth. I'm like, do I just like drop it or do I just kind of include you guys in the process and the latter seemed like what I wanted to do. So I'm going to include you in the process and I just show you step by step in your opinion. And anyway, let's just talk about what I'm doing. I have merch coming out and I'm so excited. It's been so fun to just create my brand on clothes. So this is the first piece, this sweatshirt, and this is the logo. So it says plantiful. However, I wanna include you guys in this process of, of what you guys think, your opinion, what you like, what you don't like, because for example, so with the label, so it's in green and white, but you can't really see the white on the pink sweatshirt. So I'm thinking of just doing all green for the logo. So I've ordered new samples. So everything I'm gonna show you today are just samples. So I could try things on to see if it's stuff that I love and I wanna wear like every day. If it's not fitting that, I'm not gonna sell it. This one, I absolutely love. This is the extra large. It'll go all the way up to 3X. So it'll be extra small through 3X. And I love my stuff just bigger and stuff. I could have gotten a large, could have gotten a medium, but I like stuff to fit like this. And I also just ordered another round of samples. I'm gonna get this in an army green, and then I'll have the logo be all white embroidery. So that's that. And then a baby onesie to match. How freaking cute is this? Again, that's the logo and you can't really see the white very well. I like the contrast of the two colors. So part of me is like, do I just keep it and like keep it really subtle anyway? Like I don't care that you can't really see it that well. So I don't know, tell me your opinion on that. Do we like both colors or should I do all green? I reordered both of these to be all green so we'll see what those look like when they come in so tell me your opinion what do you guys think and then the last sample that i got 
are these sweatpants. And again, there is the logo. I love the two color thing, so I like it on this kind of mauve pink color. However, I did not love the fit of these, so I'm not gonna sell them. I need to figure out different sweatpants. They're a little bit too tight on the bottom and looser around the top, and it, they just did not fit well. And I wanna sell something that you are going to grab and wanna wear every day. Like the sweatpants I'm wearing that I wear literally all the time. I'd love to have a full set to offer, but I can't find within the manufacturing, I can't find this like same, I can't find this same sweatshirt brand and color to match a pair of sweatpants so that they're the exact same color. It's kind of confusing, but I can't find a perfect match and I need to figure that out. I'm gonna keep digging and looking within the limits of the manufacturer and all that. So yeah, that's everything so far. What's coming next in samples is this exact sweatshirt, but all green logo. Same thing for the baby onesie. The baby onesie will be in multiple colors. Like I'll offer more. I don't think I ordered all those samples but I will have those available. So not just for the little girls, we'll have little boy ones or just other colors as well for you guys. And then let's see, this in the green with the all white label. I have an organic, eco-friendly tote bag. So you can bring it to the grocery store or just, I don't know, lug all your stuff in it for work. That's coming. I wanna make the first launch a little bit smaller just to get a gauge of what you guys like, what you don't like, then get your opinion on what things you would like me to offer for the next round. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'll be launching it really soon. I just need to get those samples and just make sure that I approve, I like them, I love them and then I'm gonna make them live. I already have the back end all set up. I hope you guys are excited about this. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited about this. I sure am, but obviously this is to offer more things to you. So I want you to be excited about it. I'll keep you posted when I get the new samples and when it all goes live. I'm in my Betty Crocker era for sure. And did I tell you guys this? I can't remember the thought that I had a second ago, let alone what I've told you guys. So I think I said it on Instagram. I don't remember. I am making like an ebook or a guide or a book, something of some sort that will be recipes for your little one. And Sage is in like her picky phase right now to where she's kind of always been this way where she just likes whole foods because that's all we've really given her. I haven't made her a ton of recipes if that makes any sense when she started eating we did baby led weaning which we loved and we just gave her whole foods to eat like i didn't make a lot of recipes you know what i mean but when she turned one i was like okay i think i want to start making her more recipes and i think that's just a really easy way to get a lot of nutrients in one bite you know what i mean it just makes food more nutrient dense when you can add more stuff in it and i'm not worried about her not getting nutrients and stuff like that like we do our best and she eats very well but anyway the more nutrients the better you know so i'm starting to just recipe test and see what she likes what she doesn't like and it can go different every single day like one day she'll eat the thing and be like just devouring it and then the next day she throws it and wants nothing to do with it and i think that's totally normal so i'm just trying so I'm just trying to combine all the things that I'm making to make them available for you guys because one of the most common things is just being in a recipe rut or like even if you have your own system down, having different things to make can be exciting and just it's nice to have something else to make if you're just kind of, I don't know, wanting that. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting that together. It's not going to be out soon. I have to like literally do the entire thing, but I'm starting to test out more recipes and things like that. I always cook, but I go in and out of feeling inspired to cook. And right now I'm in a phase where I feel inspired and excited about making new things and documenting them for you guys and all that. So anyway, I'll show you what I made last night for this morning. It's this oatmeal bake, I guess you could call it. And it's so simple. It's like oats, milk, maple syrup, cinnamon, flaxseed meal, smashed up pota uh, potatoes, oh my God, <laughs> mashed up banana. Then I sprinkled in just a little bit of raisins, just for fun, for kicks. And uh, it's so good. I think I baked it at 350 for like 40 minutes. And I just did that last night so we could wake up and have some. And this is the kind of thing that makes my life easier. I need to have recipes so I can prep and just to help future me. I'm just really craving having systems down and being more prepared. It just makes the day flow so much better. So having like a recipe book or whatever, I can just open it up and be like, ah, oh. and these are staple 
ingredients for the most part that you kind of can always have around so that when you're like, what are we gonna make? You could open it up and just make it. And then yesterday, which was Sunday, I went through and wrote down all of our meals for the week and we went grocery shopping yesterday, literally for hours. I normally do pickup or delivery and I just wanted to like get her out of the house and have a whole experience and it literally took hours. We went to two different stores, which is like not a big deal and this is totally a first world problem, but I was exhausted. The day was gone and I was like, oh my God. But anyway, I got everything written down. So not only just the meals for the week, but then also recipes on the side that I just wanna start testing. So the oatmeal bake I did, and then the red lentil flatbread, which I posted on my Instagram, that recipe, that's definitely gonna be a staple I make every single week, so I need to make those. And then, oh, I also made black beans yesterday, dried black beans. I finally got them to work. I had my cleaner who was here. I was like, can you help me? And she like helped me do it and showed me how to do it. Seems like, something really stupid to need help with, but I needed help for some reason. I'm, I love to cook, I've been cooking for a long time, but I could not cook black beans from being dried to final product. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then also this week, I want to make a mac and cheese sauce. So, and all these recipes will be plant-based and gluten-free. You can always swap things out and make it whatever you want. It'll be a creamy, vegan mac and cheese sauce, just put over pasta, obviously. So I wanna do that this week. And then I also want to make my own oat milk. I used to do this all the time. It's on my blog, on my website that I made literally years ago. And I'm like, inflation is crazy. Prices are going up just by the day. Instead of buying oat milk, why don't I just make a big batch of it myself? I'm just feeling inspired to cook and make things. Sage is gonna wake up quite literally any second. She's been sleeping over two hours at this point. I don't wanna start something right now because I need to get lunch together. Um, but then maybe after lunch, we'll wait, then we have to go to a class tonight. At some point, I wanna make something with you guys out of the things that I just mentioned. Um, and she has her toddler tower now, so she can sit here and help me do it, which is amazing. So it's not like I don't wanna start something while she's awake. I just need to have time to actually like complete it. Look at this. The light is shining through in the kitchen in a different way. This part of the, it doesn't really look like it in the viewfinder, but this part of the house, like the kitchen, dining room, is very different as far as lighting goes than the living room. I mean, obviously it has all those windows, but it's always like just darker in here. It doesn't really look like it on camera, which is good right now, because usually it does. But Anyway, the sun is shining through the window right over there into the kitchen. I never get natural light like coming directly into the kitchen. Anyway, it just made me very happy. We're back from her class. We had a whole fiasco with her toddler tower. She literally like went to go like sit down and like fell out of the back of it. She fell off of it. I was standing here, but like not behind her to catch her. That was the first time that she's fallen off. Thank God the rug was behind her because if she would have been in the kitchen with the tile, that could have been a very different situation. She's very tired and I'm not attempting to put her down for her second nap. She's still going back and forth with one nap to two naps. Um, she's just walking here. Is my freezer open? <laughs> we made a return at Whole Foods after her class, so by the time we got home, it was like almost five and I'm not gonna put her down at five. I just rather keep her up, put her down around seven maybe 7.15, hopefully Clark can see her when he gets home. Um, anyway, so I decided not to put her down and because she hit her head, I didn't want to put her down right after she had hit her head in case, you know, whatever. So it's dinner time. One of the recipes I wanted to test out is like very simple and to the point. I want to make some kind of soup. So I'm going to be using, yeah. Here. I'll be doing two bags of this frozen sweet potatoes. Aldi had these on sale for like a dollar something, so I grabbed a bunch of them. And then this organic butternut squash. So I'm going to cook them, steam them, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna keep it closed right now though. For a okay. And then once I cook it, I'll like add spices and stuff, and then I'm gonna put it in the blend. What? Yeah. I'm gonna put it in the blender, and then from there, I'll put it back on the stove. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll put it back on the stove and then add and add some coconut milk to make it nice and creamy. And then just whatever spices, and then I'll make Clark some garlic bread. We have those beans, maybe I'll put those on the side. So that's gonna be dinner, be very simple, but that's just a simple, easy idea for dinner, is just to make soup out of frozen, or it doesn't have to be frozen, but out of like sweet potatoes or butternut squash, and then add coconut milk. Yeah, we're not gonna open it right now, babe. You do not want to know what just happened. And right now I don't know if the audio is even working. I ran to the bathroom and I, while I'm going to the bathroom, I hear my tripod slam down on the ground and just realized, well, my camera is on my tripod. I run out into the kitchen and my camera is crashed face down in Nala's water bowl. The mic has snapped off and broke. So I'm just using the internal mic right now in the camera. External mic is broken. I do not understand how my camera lens is not shattered. And I don't even understand how it's turned on right now. I'm like shaking. <laughs> um, that's really not ideal. Really not ideal. I need to look and see if this audio is even working. Um, so I'm grateful that my camera is working right now. I hope it continues to work because, oh my God. I never leave my camera on the tripod around her, like when she's not contained. I had to, had to pee real fast so I ran it. Oh my god. Continuing this on my phone. So I gave her a little bit of soup with some Mary's Gone Crackers. These are so good. Um, she does do well eating them. But I wanted to dip them in here to get them kind of soggy. Just a little bit to make them easier to chew, but she does do well. And then, sorry, this is like dirty from earlier. Why did I not clean it? And then I'm giving her some potatoes and then we will go from there. We are ready to eat. Oh wait, I forgot our toast. I made I made bread to go along with this for us. I need to grab that. Soup turned out really good. I showed you the spices. It was like onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, and basil, I think. A little bit of salt and then adding the coconut milk. Makes it nice and just creamy. Sweet potato and uh, butternut squash, both really high in vitamin A, and that is a fat soluble vitamin. So you have to have like a fat to help absorb the vitamin A. So that's why it's great to add, you know, a fat with it, like the coconut cream, to help absorb the nutrients that you're eating. So yeah, it's a well versed little dish here. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and eat. I don't know what's going on with my camera, and I'm kind of stressed about it, but I'm actually. Actually, I feel much more calm than I expected to ever feel. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm like chill lately. Normal me would be like freaking out. But anyway, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I will talk to you guys soon. If you've not already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, keep up to date with the merch and all that kind of stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys. Say bye, Sage. Can you say bye? Okay, we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.